Hello scientists, welcome to Zhuang Mad, the scientific illustration channel for scientists. In this video, I will talk about where you can get free illustrations for your research publications. And before you get into it, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to Zhuang Mad so you can join this creative scientist community. There are two main ways to get these free illustrations. So the first one is if you can manage to find a, a stock image database where they offer you the Creative Commons license to allow you to use these illustrations for free and also for publications and also for commercial use and then uh, you can use this, these illustrations with uh, contribution when you are using these illustrations do make sure that you check whether their license is really for free and uh, for commercial use uh, because uh, there are many types of these Creative Commons license uh, and uh, some of them do not allow you for commercial use and um, also read their terms and conditions carefully and then most of them will require contribution so make sure that you acknowledge them in your publication another thing you need to keep in mind is that the copyright of these illustrations still belongs to the author and the database so uh, you cannot use these illustrations beyond the boundary that the authors allow you always have to keep in mind that uh, you do not own these illustrations and you always need to ask for, uh, the permission of the author or the copyright owner to issue a license every time you publish. This copyright ownership situation will always be there when you use uh, the illustrations that's created by a third party. That is why if you want to have an illustration that you can use freely, then uh, the best way is to create them by yourself. So uh, that is why I'm putting up uh, these tutorials here so uh, you can have these uh, open access resources to help you to illustrate your research. So there are some free softwares that you can use to create very professional scientific illustrations that uh, is um, aligned with the style of the journal. So uh, I have introduced uh, these uh, software in, the, in this video, uh, but I will quickly go through them. The first one is Inkscape and Inkscape is a truly free software that uh, is an open source software that you can download freely from their website. I will write their website in a link in the description and uh, it is a vector based software that means uh, it, uh, it's similar to other bit illustrator that their graphics are created by uh, the cal mathematical calculation of the computer so that's how you achieve those really smooth schematic uh, uh, lines. Inkscape is 100% free and the illustrations you created, uh, the copyright belongs to you. So I highly recommend uh, this software. Uh, you can check a more in-depth analysis in this video. The second one is uh, Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Illustrator is not necessarily free for everyone. But if your institution has an institution subscription, uh, I, I know some of the scientists uh, have that, and then they will be free for you at your institution. And then um, that is a very good news for you because uh, Adobe Illustrator is the industrial standard software for creating these uh, graphic abstracts. If you are the lucky ones who have a free institutional subscription at your institute, then I uh, highly recommend you to use that one and also you can follow the uh, Drogomet uh, tutorials to make these uh, biomedical illustrations. Third one is uh, PowerPoint. So PowerPoint is free for most of the people. Technically PowerPoint is not free but uh, because you uh, have the Windows system so that, that you use it for free. Uh, so uh, PowerPoint is definitely sufficient enough to make uh, these very schematic uh, graphic abstracts because uh, PowerPoint is also a vector-based software. The best thing about using these three softwares is that they are all vector-based software. So uh, the file format that you generated are uh, complying with the journal guidelines. So uh, the journals prefer uh, these vector-based images because uh, it can uh, really help them to keep the resolution very high. If you want to learn more about the vector-based images, you can check out this video in which I uh, explain the difference between vector and bitmap images and which file format you should save your illustrations in. So this is the very overall guide of where you can find these uh, free illustrations for your publications. So uh, the two main sources are like the free uh, stock, the image database where they offer you Creative Commons license for free. 
and then the second one is uh, to make these illustrations by yourself with the softwares that I have uh, mentioned here in this video. If you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to Drawbar Met to join our creative scientist community. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos.